So the demon child is slowly sinking into the ocean right now. Kevin says it's fine and to just leave it, but we still got like another two hours. But I would rather not risk the Jeep sinking into the ocean. What's up, Lightbright Nation? Yo, what's going on, guys? We are parked in some random parking lot in Melbourne, Florida with the demon child because if you remember at the end of the last video, the very end, we talked about how we had a bearing clicking or we had a clicking noise coming from both the front passenger and the front driver's side of the demon child. Which is very strange because it's not like we've literally taken it on like, like two, two trails. trails from Utah to Florida and that's really it. Like it's low mileage, the axles, everything's brand new. So we thought maybe it was the brakes because we did have loose bolts on the brakes. We got those tightened down, cinched and drove from Tampa, Florida to three, Melbourne, three Florida, hours, which is yeah. three hours. However, the brake bolt tightening did not solve the clicking noise. So we're like, crap, it's definitely the bearings. But yesterday was Sunday when that all happened. Today is Monday. We called uh, East Coast Gear Supply this morning, which is who I believe creates or makes these uh, axles, uh, to try to get the part number. And as we were calling, guess what fell apart? The bearing. So we instantly pulled over before hopefully this completely grenades and destroys everything inside the hub. The downside is, is we don't have a jack capable of lifting these 40s off of the ground. And so we are doing what amazes us every time, which is counting on the off-road community and how incredibly, insanely amazing it is uh, to find us help. And hopefully, fingers crossed, we aren't gonna be stuck here for a long time. But uh, just for shits and giggles while we wait, I mean, this is something I can replace the bearings here on the side of the road. I do have some tools. I didn't bring a jack, and this might be fine if I carried some like two by fours or two by sixes. But I think traps. once you get 40s, I don't know that this will work. I'm just bored right now, waiting to get, as you hear my phone going off, I'm getting phone numbers from people on who to contact. There is somebody local, there's a shop local. I just wanna repair this right here on the side of the road because one, it'll be more fun for video. It's not very hard to do, but we need parts. We need somebody to come bring us parts and a couple tools. But do you think this is gonna work? Maybe not, maybe. Oh my it's God, not a, even close. It's got a ways to go. Not even close. Yeah, it's got a ways to go. <laughs> so we need a two by four. Oh, I can just park up over this curb. Watch this ingenuity. We don't even have the bearing though. We still need the part. Look. Oh yeah, I do it perfect on the curb. The goal would be to come like this way and straddle the curb. And then, and have then the just jack use the curb, on the curb for the jack. But if I go over there and do it, that'll work, but then we're not in the shade anymore. And it's hot. So I pulled over, I'm in a parking lot. I don't have to see where I'm at the Bat Cave or across the street from the place called the Bat Cave. New Haven. The Bat Cave. I don't know what that is. I guess it's a beer place, it's like a beer joint. Oh, are you? Um, I put my floor jack in, the, uh, in my big trailer. Okay. So I can head your way and see what we can do to help you out there. Okay, yeah, that'd be great. Yeah, if you just have, like, I don't know if you have grease and you have uh, some rags and just, you know, basic stuff for, for greasy hub stuff. But, um, do you have tools? I have a toolbox, but I don't, well, I don't have the socket that's going to be needed to pull this off. I don't know what yeah, size socket's in there. A, a Dana 60 in it? Yeah, it's a Dana 60 from East Coast Gear Supply, but I don't know. Okay. I don't know what ends they use. I don't know if it's a, a Dodge or a Ford or what. Right, okay. Um, so I don't know if you have both the different um, big sockets. Okay, I'll grab what I got. Okay. Oh! Good catch, good catch. Don't get your hands all greasy, you I got mean, a phone to... I've got a phone, but I'd rather that not go flying out. What do you need, one of each or two? What do you need, one of each or all these? Uh, might as well do two. Probably two, two of each, each of all four. Okay, have everything but the last number, and I can have everything tomorrow morning. Oh no, we're yeah. we're stranded in a parking lot, like a like an eighth of a mile from you right now. So uh, yeah, check on the, you have you have what, what two. Broken down? Yeah, you have the other okay. three, two, uh, and. So I, I have the. Uh, the only missing is the. Uh, what am I thinking? It's the race. So okay. Probably get away with using your old race. Yeah. Yeah, but you have the other. You have two of each of the other three, correct? Yeah. Okay, cool. We'll we'll call around and see if we can find the race somewhere else too. We'll we'll figure it out. Okay. Awesome. Thank you so much. We'll probably be by to pick those up sometime pretty soon. Oh. Okay. Bye. I don't know if he dropped the phone or what. He hung up. <laughs> it's fine. Okay. So that was an O'Reilly's that's like right down the street from us, sort of walking distance, and he's got the outer bearing, the outer race, and the inner bearing. He just doesn't have the inner race in stock. From what Chris. We called Chris and had him 
uh, pull an assist as well. And he found out exactly what the part numbers were that we needed. So now we just got to figure out where the inner race is and where we can get it if we need it. But we're going, we're going. Progress is being made. <laughs> All right, so we're just waiting for the guys over at RCI to show up with the jack and some tools. This isn't normal for us. Like the stepchild, I carry a bunch of tools and I carry a jack. I always have everything we need. And this toolkit generally gets enough, you know, gets away with enough. But this is brand new and we're like just on the street mostly. So it must have just been a faulty bearing to begin with because this isn't something America's Most Wanted puts together. These axles come already loaded, ready to go. And all you do is just bolt them up to the vehicle. So this isn't like an America's Most Wanted thing. I mean, who knows? Somebody could have tightened that down too much when, when they assembled the bearings. There's a lot of reason for failures from manufacturing all the way to proper, improper installation. So... Oh well, this is where we're at, and luckily we're not out in the middle of nowhere. This is also the reason we kind of started wanting to trailer the stepchild around, because we generally do a lot harder stuff than what we do in this. But I am missing the socket. I, will, the I will from now keep the socket to get that big nut off and a jack. Although, although I'm damn ingenuity, I, I honestly think we could I can easily pull over right there yeah. and use that, or just bring two or three two-by-fours yeah. and stack them away, and you don't need a big jack. But the bigger jacks are... More convenient. Uh, 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 more convenient, yeah, for sure. Okay, I'm tired of doing this by hand, but I do want to see how close it was going to get. That's all the way. I think a curb would do Yeah, it. yeah, a curb's yeah. a good what? A six, eight inches? It would... I'd yeah, put it there. Yeah. But now I don't have to unwind this all the way out. because we just spent six minutes, six minutes. I've been really trying, we just spent six minutes doing it at the very end. I go, oh, watch this, I bet your microphone messed up. We already explained this and it, we're doing, this is like the fifth time, whatever. I was like, this is the stupidest thing. Anyway, they showed up, we pull everything apart. The bearings, totally fine. There, the bear, there's nothing wrong with the bearings. Now, just to clarify, because I, I got the clicking noise on camera, but again, my microphone screwed up. But I describe it, it's almost like there's rocks in your tires, right? You hear this like, and it's purely rotational. Click, 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 click. Kevin compares it to having like a baseball card in your bicycle spokes, right? Except that's all the time, that's but Yeah, but this that's is, what happens it's as you only in one section, right? It's not like a consistent noise, whatever, but it's, it doesn't matter whether you're on throttle, it doesn't matter whether you're braking, it doesn't matter if the hubs are locked or unlocked, like none of that changed it. The clicking was consistent and it, when, it, when the wheel speed was nothing, there was no sound. As the wheel speed picked up, it got faster and faster, etc. Anyways, bearings were fine. The brake caliper, although they did have bolts loose, uh, brake calipers were not the problem either because it still kept happening. While we were driving, you could hear it and then we heard like a crack noise and then it was like, a grind like consistent just grinding noise like ear splitting but at the same time there was a old pickup truck kind of driving by and there was a retaining wall on the other side of them and i was like 
oh crap. I was like, no, the, is that the truck? Is that us? Is that the truck? Is so that I us? stuck my head out the window. It sounded like it was coming from the wheel. Even as the truck passed, the noise didn't change. He got ahead of us and I was like, no, it's definitely still but the wheel. I think it must have been from the truck echoing off the retaining wall and her still hearing it over here. From so the it was echo. Just, so I instantly, I'm like, I'm like, nope, not dealing with this. Pulling over. I just it, pulled over. In my defense, it absolutely sounded oh, like a bearing cracking oh, I, open. I, I, I agree. That I is agree. 100% what like it sounded like. There was like a noise like. and then grinding. Oh, look at those hummers. So maybe, maybe the truck's bearing blew <laughs> as he passed us. I don't know. The point is, we put it all back together. They took it for a test drive. Grinding is gone, but the clicking is still there. The grinding is gone because that truck is no longer around. <laughs> Maybe, I don't know. But the clicking was still there. They drove it around, come back in, clicking still there. Chris. Look, and, and, we're, hold, and look, we're being extra cautious because we're so far away from home, we have no trailer. And yeah. like we, we have still to have drive. to drive this home to yeah, Utah. Yeah. And, and in the end, it's still a new build and things kind of, you know, get overlooked like retorquing torquing beadlock bolts. They pull back in and Chris, RCA, can you perform our request? Let me just let me just try retorquing the bolts yeah. on the beadlock. See, like, let's just see. All of the beadlock bolts were tight, though. Yeah. None of them were like finger loose or noticeably loose. They were all tight. So we didn't. After he went around, we didn't redrive the Jeep to double check whether or not that fixed it because we assumed they were all tight because they all were tight. But I guess not because now we're driving it. No noise. Fixed. One hundred percent gone. Well, he's like, come to my shop, grab the bearings, we'll swap it out before we go to Daytona. I'm like, yeah. sick. Just so in case. Like Twenty minutes. Let's go do that. And so we drive off, and she's like, I don't hear it. And I'm I was like, like wait, wait, stop. Back up. Go forward. Back up. Turn around. <laughs> the noise is gone. It's completely gone. Don't tell them about what we were doing last night in bed. Oh my god. <laughs> Anyways, we, now granted, the, for the clicking noise, torquing the beadlock bolts does make sense, because especially the only thing that made it worse was if we turned and we put more weight on that wheel. It'd be louder. It would get louder. And if you think, as those beadlocks like hit the pavement and there's weight and there's more pressure on the tire and everything, it, the beadlock could be tapping against the bolts or something. Like, I think it was just could, creaking because it was a lot tighter. It was just creak, creak, creak. Something. Like, yeah, they went by those bolts. I don't know. But it, the beadlock bolts make no sense with the grinding noise, which is why we think maybe we're both total f***ing idiots. Well, and, the grinding no, and the grinding noise was the truck. Adam. <laughs> it's gone, though. God, and it's such a stupid, simple... Oh, almost just witnessed a wreck. Anyways, we're still gonna go to RCIQ before my four now. We're just gonna put a torque wrench on all of the beadlock bolts at this point and, and send it. I like that color. Whatever that Toyota blue is, it's pretty cool looking blue. It's pretty blue. Very pretty blue. As pretty as your blue eyes that you don't have. <laughs> my eyes <laughs> aren't blue. I'm gonna say my eyes aren't blue, Kevin. I know, you're a little ticked off. And we haven't eaten I'm yet. So it's 3 o'clock in the afternoon. It is 3 o'clock. We haven't even We're eaten going yet. to lunch. I haven't eaten. It's 3 o'clock in the afternoon, so I'm also hangry, which is probably why I'm like more pissed than I should be. But like, my microphone is garbage. I should have had my other, God, I should have had the other microphone. I'm so mad that none of that had audio to it because I actually got the clicking noise on camera and you could hear it. Also, cars are just dumb. This is dumb. Like, we've been chasing this noise. For over a week now. Start simple. Keep it simple, stupid. Keep it simple, stupid. I never would have thought beadlocks would make that noise. I never did either. Anyways, if you're getting an unknown clicking hey, noise. there's the place I wanted to go to. Coming from your wheel, and it's not the bearing, and it's not your brake caliper falling off, or anything else, check your beadlock bolts, I guess. Well, either way, all things considered. <laughs> they saved us on the side of the road. <laughs> shout out to RCI Jeep 4x4. <laughs> yeah, we just torqued all the beadlock all the B -lock bolts. Yep. We were, in fact, not stranded and dying, but <laughs> <laughs> they, they made sure that we were taken care of, which is awesome. So thank you guys, <laughs> no we appreciate problem. it. No <laughs> so you know you have officially arrived at Jeep Beach when you park in a parking lot and you come back and not only are there a ton of ducks on your Jeep, but there is also a beer. Someone left us a beer on our oh, Jeep. And it's a it's a, it's a a Coors, not a Bud Light. It's a Coors, not a Bud Light. <laughs> thank you to whoever left us the beer, and also thank you to everyone who left us ducks. Let's uh, let's get this Jeep Beach party started. What's up, Light Bright Nation? We're here at the Hard Rock Hotel, Jeep Beach 2023. Jeep said the rock. You guys ready to have a good time? Make some noise. <laughs> I'm a 
give it to you G straight And a mild beast, I am not a human being Ballin' like Kareem, sippin' on codeine I lean with it, rock with it, got coke dreams Boom, back, boom in the trap When trap meets house, you get a trap house Got two stacks, throw it at a strip dancer Big booty ho says she from Atlanta Park here, and then and then clearly, the clearly not. <laughs> they lied. <laughs> Buddy, the owner of this gray gladiator to return to your vehicle. You can now park on the east side of the traffic lane. Again, I need the owner of the gray gladiator to return to his jeep so he can move it. You can not park on the east side of the traffic lane. Thank you. Sir, Sir, you can't, you can't park there. What's up, Life Ride Nation? <laughs> What's up, Life Ride Nation? Jeep Beach, yeah. No. Kevin. No. Kevin. No. Kevin. No. Kevin. No. Kevin. No. Kevin. Look. No. Kevin. No. Kevin. <laughs> Look at its face. Peanut butter and jelly. Need a sister. <laughs> what about? Oh, you, you, you're, you're you're neglecting one. one. <laughs> we get two. Hi. Oh my. They're so soft though. They're so soft. <laughs> oh my god. Kevin says he doesn't want one, but. Look at <laughs> oh my god. You sure? Yeah. You sure? Yes, Are you I'm sure? sure. Okay, okay, I'm just making I just cuz you have puppies. You're giving you're giving mixed signals right now. So, as my beautiful beautiful wife gets to sleep in, as you can see, all the guys are up and the Jeep's ready because we're going to go party on the beach at 7 a.m. because that's what we do. Is that right, buddy? That's exactly what you do. <laughs> you get, get up at 7 a.m. You're like, oh, this is a good idea. Let's go on vacation. Marketing. <laughs> I mean, you know, what's, I mean, what's the problem? Like, 7 a.m., up all night drinking, partying, and then, uh, oh, God. If I go oh, that way, I'm going to get that over, too. Okay, okay. I got to go get the demon, and I'm supposed okay, to be over there. Guys. Yeah. <laughs> you can see the whole lineup of everybody. We're all going down to the beach. The other people have different loading times, but this is ours. Let's fire this baby up. Oh, yeah. That needs to come up and say, like, demon or something instead of 382, huh? All right, so I'm supposed to pretend like I know where I'm doing, going or what I'm doing. They just said go down and find the beach. Oh, look, there he is. Look, there he is. I was just talking about you. Oh, you are not. I was just talking I about you. I was just talking about you. <laughs> so funny. Brittany thought I was going to be here for the sunrise. It looks like I have completely missed the sunrise quite a bit. Oh, it's high tide. Is this where I go? Ain't nobody there. Um, this is where I'm going to go. There's my jeeps that way. Oh, found them. So Jeep Beach by now, if you don't know, it's kind of just a big party. And then they have beach games and parties. And luckily right now it looks like it's beautiful clear blue skies and the ocean's great uh, we got DJs it's it's just freaking awesome I gotta I gotta get out here right now in the morning to represent today magna flow sorry if I sound so down but seven o'clock comes early when you go to bed at like 2 a.m. that's just that's part of Jeep Beach too but we get to meet all tons of uh, a whole ton of our fans and just have a good time for the whole week Occasionally pose a problem. So the demon child is slowly sinking into the ocean right now. Kevin says it's fine and to just leave it, but we still got like another two hours about high tide. So I am, uh, I'm gonna move it forward. So you can leave 
because Kevin says it's fine, but I would rather not risk uh, the Jeep sinking into the ocean. So, oh God, I'm gonna move her forward real quick. I don't know if that's enough. I think it'll be fine. I think it'll be fine. And if not, at least it's insured for a lot of money. So I guess there's that. Um, I'm thinking maybe I might move it forward just a little bit more. <laughs> Maybe a little bit more. I haven't ever seen it like this. It's, the pretty high bad. tide is yeah. pretty insane this year. It's, uh, I think she's probably fine. I think she'll be fine. It's got something go. as he says. Let's see. There it goes. It's all. Here we go. Here we go. Oh! oh! Obviously, Jeep Beach, it's in the name. One of the main highlights is the beach, the beach games, the bikinis, the Jeeps. That's not all there is to it. So they do have the Tiki Party, which is about to start. They have the vendor show. There's so much and it's so insane. And we will show you all of the rest of it in the next video. <laughs> next You're gonna have to wait, guys, as always. Thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. Remember, you can find all your Light Bright Nation merch and decals at lightbrightstudios.com. And as always, we love you. And we'll see you next time. Bye, guys. Later. We believe there are two basic ways to perform a task. The wrong way and the right way. When you perform a task the wrong way, it is dangerous, unprofessional, and can be life Threatening. Kevin, what happened? You didn't want to move it forward. No, you can't put that on the fucking video. Yeah, you didn't no, want to move it No, because, no, no. Insurance covers stupidity. They don't cover gross, gross negligence. And if I'm sitting here talking about it and it never happens, they can use it. We're not using this part of the video. Don't, don't okay. even. Hold don't on. even. Okay, so we're only going to include that in the video if the demon child does not get swept away into the ocean. If it does, for insurance purposes, we will exclude it. For if it doesn't, then transparency.